As Kiev woke to the sound of the first distant explosions and air raid sirens being tested. <laughs> Footage is emerging of what's happening on the ground in Ukraine, of what we believe shows a missile strike on an airbase in the west of the country, of an offensive launched by a neighbor. We are all Ukrainian citizens, and we are now defending our country, and we will fight for our country, and we will support our country each in the squares of each town. The armed forces are ready to protect our country. We will not give up our independence. Here, the aftermath of a missile attack in the south of Kiev. Casualties and reports of civilian deaths are emerging. So far, the signs are that this is much bigger than a limited incursion. We now have war in Europe on a scale and of a, and of a type we thought belonged to history. In Armyansk, in the Crimean Peninsula, Russian military convoys have been seen heading towards the Ukrainian border. We understand borders have been breached by Russian troops in at least four regions, explosions heard across several cities, and seen too by Western allies. Some very, very important words for those who could be tempted to intervene from outside. Whoever tries to hinder us, and even more so to create threats to our country, to our people, should know that Russia's response will be immediate and it will lead you to such consequences that you have never encountered in your history. We are ready for any development of events. All the necessary decisions have been made in this regard. I hope that I will be heard. In the city of Mariupol, a Ukrainian port town, located less than 12 miles from the nearest trenches in the eastern Donbass region, troops arrived to smoke and fire at the airport. On the border with Poland, Ukrainians are fleeing. I'm of Ukrainian heritage and to see this happening to the country is just devastating. I just, I just can't believe someone could be so evil. Kiev is a city in crisis. Roads west out of the capital are gridlocked. What all of this means for the world order will unfold later. For now, the focus is on the ordinary people caught in conflict. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.